Hey everyone, it's your North Texas Fossil Dude. I'm out here with Dudette and uh, we're uh, at that same construction site. It rained quite a bit, hoping to be able to expose some stuff. Uh, Dudette found uh, this nice piece, which is pretty cool. So, um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Love to have you as a subscriber. And uh, let's flip this around. I'm going to show you what I'm going to try to get out of here. That's a nice size one right there. I'm just wondering how hard it is to get out of that matrix. Might just take a couple of pops and it'll pop right out. And then again, it might not. And then uh, Kim found a nice Mortiseris chunk right there. So uh, we're going to keep looking around. Let me see if I have any luck getting this thing out of here. All right. Well, it took a, a few good whacks. But I was able to get it, get it out of there. It doesn't have too much matrix on it. But we'll definitely pick that one up on our way back. We just got started, so we're going to keep looking around. I'm glad that one came out. How pretty is that? Pretty good size. All right, let's go find some fossils. All right, everyone, so I saw a piece of this thing sticking out. Yeah, I'm wearing gloves. It's a little chilly in Texas today. But that's whole. Decent size. Mortenseris. <laughs> Joseph corrected me on that one. I like all the Mortys. And the dudette's over there and she found a little one. I don't know why she threw it up the hill thinking I'm going to carry it, but you know. Alright, so let's keep looking. Alright, so dudette looks like found another one right there. So we've been here a total of 10 minutes. And we've got four good ones so far. <laughs> so... We're going to keep looking around. Uh, maybe we'll fill up the Jeep pretty quick. Let's take a look at this one. If it's a hole, you'll see it at the end of the video. Check out that beauty. Oh, this mud. I mean, it's just, look at that. It did rain quite a bit here in Texas, in this part. There's a, looks like a fairly complete Morty. Pretty good, pretty good size. It's probably uh, 12, 13 inches in diameter. It's got some prep work to do. It looks like it might be busted right there. Let's see how much matrix is on the back. Oh, quite a bit. That's gonna be heavy. All right. Considering it's not completely full, I might consider not getting it. So. Uh, We'll see. Let's go find some fossils. All right, everyone. So, um, dude, that's over there in that pile. There's a really large one over there. I was going to try to get out today, but uh, tool didn't come in. Not sure if I mentioned that or not yet, but one of the questions asked is, why do you come out so early in the morning? And <clears throat> the reason being is because the sun casts shadows. You know, when you're straight up and down, little a little bit further in the day you don't get the shadows you don't get all the textures and stuff like that and this one that i'm looking at now you really don't need that um i don't know if it's whole or not but check it out hopefully it's whole looks whole what do you think let's take a look all right ah the inside's beat up quite a bit Goes all the way to here. I wonder if that backside will prep out okay. Well, we're gonna find out because we're taking it with us. All right, we're gonna keep looking, so let's go find some fossils. So I'm on my way back uh, to drop that one off at our pile we got going. But I see what well, might be a little guy that might be whole. Can you see it? It's in the middle of the screen. This little guy right here. Let's take a look. Yep. Ah, a little busted. Look, you can tell it was part of a bigger piece. The, a larger ammonite. You can actually see where uh, it wrapped around right there. It might still prep out okay. If anything, it'll be a free fossil for somebody. Alright, let's keep looking. 
So I'm kind of getting a kick out of uh, Dudette there. She's looks like she's got something in both hands, and she's trying to walk through the mud. I mean, this stuff is brutal. You have to stop every now and then and get that off of your feet. So I just thought I would share this. I think it's pretty cool. It's great being out here with her. She's a trooper. All right, let's look at this big fossil she found. Well, she hasn't made it over here yet, but I definitely see the one she was looking at. She needs to get back over here so she can carry this thing out of here. I'll take the one she has in her hands. They're much lighter, be easier to carry. So, but how cool is that? That's a good one right there. Probably 18 inches in diameter. It looks to be complete. So probably 60 pounds or so. I did leave that other big one over there. I tried to uh, test lift it, and that thing probably weighs, I don't know, 120 to 150 pounds. I mean, it, it, it is, and then it's bulky, so you can't just uh, grab it and carry it out. So, I guess I need to get started carrying this one out, though. <laughs> All right, let me get busy. All right, so walking over to where uh, Sis is, Dudette, I did pull that one up the hill uh so get it started she says she has another one over here though well let's take a look and see what she's got in her hands also while we're here oh that is a beauty kim you guys see it yet oh that one's pretty check out those colors it's got some suture lines on it nice what else you got this one's a little broke. A little broken more. Hey, well, that side's not too bad. Yeah. Well, there you go. That one's pretty cool. Yep. All right. Well, it's good she needs to go uh, unload so she can come back and get this. So. <laughs> All right. Where? Oh, she might have found another one. Let's take a look. Yep. <laughs> okay. Well. All right, that's three to get back to the Jeep. It's, uh, it's a little ways away. I think we're going to just take them to the curb over here and uh, pick them up. So, all right, time to get started. All right, well, I, I think it's something different, and this is what I'm going to carry out since dude, dude that's going to carry the rest of that stuff out of there. You see it? What do you think? <laughs> oh, that would figure. It's in a large chunk of matrix. I wonder if I can tap that thing out of there. Huh. Well, not going to hurt to try, so I guess we'll find out if you watch any of the video whether I got it or not. So, uh, Sis and I got a little tired of finding the mud. It was, it was just, you know, ankle deep, just, uh... So we decided what we're going to do is we're going to come to a different location that hopefully doesn't have as much mud. And it doesn't. And see if we can find some smaller ammonites and some echnoids. Whoop, where's... I need to focus on that thing. There it is. Beat up, but check out the detail though. That is so cool. This thing was living millions and millions of years ago it's got some nice detail to it though so it's coming home with me let's go find some fossils well it seems like i can't get away from the mud but um i saw a couple of different little things here there's a piece of a scallop there um there's actually another scallop right here and then maybe maybe oh there's a texas toenail piece of one maybe that's a little ammonite Oh, it's broken. Oh, well, gonna keep looking. All right, so we're still uh, down in this gray area. Um, and I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it or not, but um, it's there. It's an ammonite. Can you see it? Let's hope it's full. Let's take a look. Yeah, probably not. Well, that's a bummer. It's got some nice suture lines on it. That's pretty cool where the end came together with one of the suture lines. I don't know. I'm going to take it with me. 
give it a good washing, maybe it's all there. So keep your fingers crossed. So I've been scouring around in this gray stuff, trying to find a whole complete one of those little gray ammonites. Um, I think it'd be cool to have one, especially the way they're preserved, even the parts that are I'm finding. But then I happened to stumble upon that guy. That's an atoloid. Wow, that's pretty freaking cool. All right. Now, just goes to show, just keep looking. You'll find something eventually. <laughs> I'm pretty excited about that one. All right, let's see if we can find some more. All right, everyone. So I uh, I saw this guy. I don't know if he's going to be whole or not, but we're going to try digging it out. But I saw this echnoid. Ah, killer. And there's another one up there. It's kind of beat up a little bit. There might be a nautiloid there. We're going to go take a look at that here in a minute. Might also be an ammonite right there. So I'm hoping this guy right here is full. We're going to see what we can do to get it out of there. And it's not. Nope. Not full. Ah, that's a bummer. Really need one of those full in the gray matrix. All right, so we're going to go up to take a look, see if there's an alloy there and an ammonite. So I'm going to go see if I can find some more fossils. So I saw what appears to be a little bivalve right here, and it's broken. And so then I started looking around like I always do. I've taught myself to stop because I get used to seeing one thing and I forget about everything else around it. But could it be a whole gray ammonite? Yes! Well, uh, mainly there. But man, those are cool. And then, still looking around. Remember, you got to look around. Check out this echinoid. Oh, beautiful. Ha! <laughs> that is so cool. I don't see anything else. I'm still looking around a little bit. There's a little, little itty bitty scallop shell there kind of broken oh cool that's a cool echinoid all right you can keep looking around Hey everyone, had a wonderful day out with Sis today. Um, found some 22 complete uh, ammonites. Uh, largest one is 16 inches in diameter. That's the one down there on the end I'm going to show you here in a second. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. I'd love to have you as a subscriber. That's your uh, collection of uh, echinoids. This is a really cool scallop shell. Kind of did find a couple of gastropods. This one's pretty cool. That's a really nice echinoid. It uh, did have a ding in it though, which eh, kind of stinks, but oh well, it's still in really good shape. That one's pretty cool. It's also got a ding in it. There's that nautiloid I found. That's the only nautiloid I was able to locate. I did find that one piece have one that was showing in the video but many different species of morty which is pretty cool i did get that gray one out that i was showing you it did pop out it didn't come out complete but it came out pretty well i did not get a whole one of these little gray guys that one's pretty cool check out those suture lines that's a different type of bivalve there that is a really really cool echinoid and then we just got some more species of morties 
got a lot to clean up i hope that one the other side looks much better than that side does but um that's a different species it looks like it's from a, a different time and then we got some other ones and then we got some smaller guys here this one right here was actually broken you can see where it was broken on this side it popped off from here and those are actually the suture lines then we have another Mortiseris. That one cleaned up really well. That one's on the side of the hill. I think that one will come out really nice. Then we have a couple more of these big guys. Need some work to do. We did leave the uh, one larger one of these that my sis found. We found three in a row. Uh, reason being is because uh, when I cleaned the mud off of it, the inside of it, it was completely gone. So, and here's the big boy. 16 inches in diameter. And then uh, it does have some nice little suture patterns to it. So, well, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.